You don't have to use Excel, but let me do an example just so you can see how it would work out if you want to try it. You're going to start by filling in everything that you know. In this problem, we know we have a weight acting down that's 400 pounds, and then we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we don't know. Methods of components might not be the best way to solve this one. So let's go ahead and fill in one of those sign tables. This is off of your trig review. Okay, you can get all of the angles going on in here. So we're adding the vectors together using the triangle rule. And over here, we only have two unknowns, okay? So we just went from six unknowns to two unknowns by changing the method we're gonna to use to solve this. Using the law of signs, so you're just looking at each vector and the angle that's opposite. So 400 is opposite of 80, and then CB is opposite of 40, so it just goes B with B, A with A, C with C. So you can just type in a couple of law of sine equations here, and then it will calculate what our tensions are. So there you go, law of sines, two equations, and we're done. We finished it. If you want to just check to make sure that that's really right, we can go up to our force components table chug in those tensions from the law of sines, break everything into x and y components, and make sure that everything in the x direction is going to add to zero and everything in the y direction is going to add to zero. AC, this is the one that's going to the left and up, so we have to make sure that's negative. So there's our negative x, that's the cosine chunk of it, adjacent to the 50 degrees. And then sine is going to be the opposite piece. That's Fy is the sine. And once you have that in for one of them, you can just copy and paste it down. Both of those triangles, it's cosine and cosine for Fx. Copy it down. It's sine and sine for Fy. So that's one of the advantages of Excel. You can copy equations down. So there we go. Everything in the x adds to 0 and everything in the y adds to 0. Yay, we're done. How could this problem be modified? What if we were given BC instead of given the weight? We could still solve for it. Okay, this one might work better with components. Start by filling out what you know. In this case, we're given what BC is. Break it into its X and Y components. X is cosine, that's adjacent to that 30 degrees. We can fill in our angles. And y is sine. That's opposite that 30 degrees. Okay, so we know BC. Fill in the zeros that you know as well. We know the weight is completely in the y direction. Okay, so here's our unknowns. I'm color coding it, so everything that's unknown is kind of that peach color. Now we know that each of these columns has to add to zero. And if we look at where our unknowns are, there's only one unknown in that X column. So now we know the X component of cable AC. And if we know one piece of that triangle and we know the angle, we can figure out the other sides of that triangle. So there's the total force in that cable. I'm just going to take away that negative sign. We just need the magnitude. The Y component, that's the opposite to that angle. Now we can fill in our weight because we only have one unknown left in the Y column. And we're done. Not too painful, right? How could we check our answer? What if we plugged in what BC was for our last problem? It was 261.081. If we plug in the new value for BC, we get the old weight of negative 400 back. This is another advantage of Excel. Once you have your equations in there, you can solve for all kinds of different scenarios very quickly by just changing one number on your spreadsheet. Just make sure that all of those equations are linked to cells and you're not just typing numbers in. Hope that helped!